Dorian. Is, is it Blair? How is she? I just spoke to her cardiologist. It doesn't look good. She seems to be slipping away. How could this happen? We heard she's gonna be all right. It's myocarditis. It just came out of nowhere. They don't know how to treat it, and... Oh, Star and Jack, they just need her so much. Is there anything at all we can do? Yes, as a matter of fact. Why don't you talk to that brother of yours? Talk some sense into him so those children don't end up orphans. This is just so classic. The only man in the world that fate sends to rescue you, and it just happens to be the same man that you sent to prison. I mean, it just goes beyond irony. God, just um, walk away, because there's nothing. No, that's not going to happen, Marty. You're not going anywhere, Spencer. Or are you going to force me to kill her right here and now, Don? As long as you don't leave, what do I care? You hear that, Marty? Todd really doesn't care. You live or die. So predictable, Manning. No. Oh my God. Oh, great. Yeah, I'm guessing she's going for the cops. <laughs> yeah. So whether you kill Marty or not, you're probably going to be dead when we go back inside. You see what I'm saying, Marty? Yeah. Yes, yeah, even Todd just cares about himself. Yeah. I would listen to her. She knows me better than most. <laughs> Too. Unbelievable, the enemy of my enemy is my friend, right? You're not nearly as smart as you think you are, Don. Neither one of you are. You're not getting out of here, Spencer. Well, here's the thing. I happen to be holding a rather large caliber semi-automatic weapon in my hand, and you're not! What's keeping me from just dropping you both right here and now, and I'll just keep walking? What do you think about that? Hmm? That's what I thought. You're not willing to sacrifice Dr. Sabrak or yourself or anybody for that matter. Now get out of my way. Do it! I can't believe this. You found Todd threatening Spencer with a scalpel? Was anybody hurt? No, thank heavens. And I used reverse psychology. Managed to get him to think of someone other than himself, of his children and of Blair. You know, he's been through an awful lot, but oh my God. I mean, if, why isn't he by Blair's side? Why does he always, always react like this? Well, if you can't understand him, then nobody can. Look, Dorian, heart conditions can be very dire and obviously can still be reversed. I, mean, I know. Blair doesn't have time to wait for a heart donor. Dorian, is there anything that we can do besides bringing Todd to his senses? No, I'm afraid not. I suppose I ought to call Addie, but she's so fragile herself. Now, you look, I know, as a doctor, you know a lot about this situation, but you gotta hang on to some hope. Yeah. I'm trying to, but it's getting harder and harder seeing her like this. You know, this is all Todd's fault. As usual, he has put everybody he says he loves and cares about in jeopardy. Dorian, just a minute here. Oh, oh my God! You're not gonna make it to the parking lot. Spencer's gonna stop me. You? Huh? Nobody has been there right now, Spencer. Spencer, you don't want to do Shut that. Shut up! Say you do make it out, Spencer. What then? Her life on the run? Hold up, who knows where? No more lifestyles of the rich and famous, buddy. No more champagne and caviar. No, no more big shots. You're service. such an idiot. You know why? Because all of these years you've been living and you still don't even know what the most important thing in life is. You know when I discovered that about you? When I was sleeping with your wife when she told me. All right, that's enough. You are as a husband. Listen to me. You want a hostage? You take me. Let her go. situation at the hospital. The trainer? Yeah, he cold cocked a guard, got his weapon, and then he took some female employee hostage. I'm gonna notify SWAT. I want you to have every available unit sent to the hospital. Right. Uh, lock it down. Also, 
I want a car sent to my father's house. Nobody goes in there. Anything else? Yeah. This is Truman's last hurrah. You put the word out. I said if anybody has a clear shot at him, take it. And also, if Detective McBain calls here, starts asking a lot of questions, you tell him nothing. What are you kids doing here? I want to see my mom. Forget it. Hospital's in a lockdown. We've got a situation. It's Spencer Truman, isn't it? He took one of his doctors hostage. Who? Come on, man. You had to tell me my mom's one of his doctors. What do you think about that idea, Dr. Sabra? Huh? No, she wants to come with me. Come on, I would let her go. Come with me. I'm the one you want to kill. Think about it. No, I don't think so. You wouldn't make a very valuable hostage, Manning. You're completely expendable. Now back off! More! We're going. Freeze, Truman! Hey, hold on! Hold on, put him down! Put him down! She's don't go, Truman! He's put psychotic! Put him down! 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 Slow your weapon! Don't go, Truman! Put him down now! Put him down! Follow me! She's I mean it! Truman's headed for the east stairwell. He's also got the hostage with him. 